This is Dolany TV. We didn't win, but I'm going to take the moral victory tonight anyway. The Oilers, a 3-0 final against the Florida Panthers. Now you're looking for the split. I've been saying Oilers in six the whole time, so I'm none the concerned. But I will tell you right now, for the Oilers, there's a couple of things they can't do the rest of the series here. And there's a couple of things very, very evident in this game one. It's not, I'm, I'm not saying it's a terrible performance. In fact, I think it was a perfect performance, perfect road performance. You uh, did just enough to tell Florida, hey, we're going to push you this playoffs, but you didn't give away the secret sauce that's going to win you the playoffs and the Stanley Cup. So I like where the Oilers were at. I like what happened in game one despite the loss. That said, there's a couple of things the Oilers need to work on here going into game number two because they continue. They are not going to win these series. They are not going to win the Stanley Cup. But before we get there, friends, if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button here on Dolan TV. We're closing in on 16,200 16, subscribers here tonight. Would appreciate you doing that for me. Stick around. We're going to have lots of coverage. But that said, for the Oilers, tonight... Florida, they're a tough team. They're somewhat greasy. That's not a fault. I'm not making fun of them for that. Quite honestly, I like greasy hockey teams because, hey, you got to have a little edge. You got to have a little something-something, right? Uh, that said, the Oilers can't be every time they're touched, every time they're dumped to the ice, every time they feel like something didn't go their way in terms of getting a power play. You can't be looking at the ref for laying on the ice with your face covered. You just can't. And there were so many instances of that tonight. Where it's like, guys, you're better than that. You're in the Stanley Cup finally. You've earned your right to be here. You don't need to cry your way to a cup, right? Is I, I want to win straight up. I don't want to win on the power play. I want to win five on five. Didn't do that tonight. I don't care. We still got six more games to possibly do it. But uh, yeah, I was a little embarrassed as an Oilers fan tonight seeing the Oilers every time they were dumped to the ice by Florida and they felt, oh, we should have had a penalty here. Oh my God, they can't get away with that. They're crying, right? And it's not necessarily always to the ref, but you know every time an Oilers player is on the ice, the refs are looking to see what the reaction is. And I'm like, oh, guys, come on. We are better than this. And ultimately, yes, it's a 2 nothing loss, but that is my most frustrating point. Outside of something you have heard me, if you watch the channel regularly, yell and complain about all playoffs long. It's my biggest pet peeve when it comes to the Oilers this year. Uh, in the playoffs is they are losing the face-off battle heavily in the games they are losing. You can't do that. In the playoffs, in the regular season, in the NHL, it's a game of possession nowadays. And guess what? The Oilers got out face-off 34-23. You know how different the last four minutes would have played out if they would have won two or three more face-offs? Quite honestly, no telling because just getting that pressure on Florida that you do because you win a face-off instead of scrambling up and hoping and praying, right? It, it, it was tough. It was tough to watch the Oilers, again, cry and complain every time they were touched and also secondarily as well, lose the face-off dot by 11, right? There was 57 face-offs total tonight. So that's not really a lot, but still a lot. But 34 divided by 57, Florida was dang near 60% in the draw. The Oilers will only win this series. I am quite honest, same against Vancouver, same against Dallas, here against Florida. You will only, as the Edmonton Oilers, win this series if you keep the face-offs as close to even as possible. I'm not talking 50, I'm talking 48 to 52. You keep it in that range or exceed the 52, you will be fine. But my goodness, you cannot be losing 60% of the face-off draws against Florida and expect to win. That is what you just can't do. So, oh man, oh man, there's there's two big, big things there that I just can't believe. But that, there is to be said, the penalty kill was awesome again tonight. They killed off a bunch of penalties, right? Florida power play is 0 for 3 to start the, uh, or sorry, 0 for 2 to start the uh, series, so that's good news right there. Um, and uh, biggest thing now for the rest of the ride home is uh, you got to keep that penalty kill at above 90%. I mean, you just can't allow goals on the penalty kill. Sergei Bobrovsky, 32 saves, the shutout, and a 3 nothing victory. He's going to be 
the reason the Florida Panthers win if they win. So you cannot allow for extra little cheesy victory incentives there for Florida, right? A power play goal, uh, two gifts tonight, right? The two not the one nothing and two nothing goals. The Oilers some brain farts there. Yeah, everybody can complain about Nurse and Cece being back together, and that's disaster. But I don't care. I don't care if it's Kulak. I don't care if it's Brobier. I don't care if it's Bouchard Neckholm. You just got to play defense. Again, we got are stuck with the six guys we got. We got a seventh. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But we are stuck with seven guys here that can possibly do the job. And I don't care who you are on that defense. You just got to do it. I don't care what the fans think. I don't care what I think. I don't care what my cousin up in Nunavut thinks, to be quite honest with you. Just don't be dumb, right? And I think there was a couple of silly mistakes there. I don't care that it was Nurse and Cece. Quite honestly, it doesn't matter because it might be Nurse and Cece tonight. It could be Kulak and Broberg tomorrow and everyone's doing the exact same thing, jumping all over those guys. So end of the day, let's just clean up the mistakes, play a good game. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, you are not going to get shut out every single game of this series. Not if the Oilers are peppering 30 plus goals on the net on Bobrovsky. After some of the saves he made tonight, he's going to be a hurting unit Monday. Stuart Skinner had a relatively calm night in net, so that's good news for us. Florida obviously had 18 shots all told, so Skinner not a very uh, overall amazing night, but also not the reason you lost tonight, right? I, I think, quite honestly, you just couldn't solve Bobrovsky, and that's fine. Hey, you know what? It's game one, not game seven. Cup's not lost yet. Huh, Cup's far from lost. You lose the series in game one, you're a lot more mentally weak than any of us gave the Oilers credit for in November. I'll tell you that much. So I think the Oilers very much so with McDavid and Drysdale and Hyman and Nuge and Bouchard being shut down on that power play are going to be coming out with a vengeance in game number two. You just clean up the crybaby act every time you get touched by Florida on a greasy play and you also clean up the face off dot all will be good skinner was good enough to win tonight uh yeah he gave up two goals guess what you give up two goals as the oilers you win usually 85 percent of the time so he's good enough to win tonight in my opinion and for the oilers this evening an effort that they can be proud of just clean some stuff up let's go game two let's get this going and we'll see you monday night friends Thanks so much for being aboard this evening. Really do appreciate it. Again, it's 3 0 final. That really played to a 1 uh, 2 1 3 2 kind of game. Just the Oilers mm, fired pucks over top of the net, mm, mm, missed pucks. Bobrovsky made some incredible saves, couldn't steal the uh, deal on some breakaways. What have you? You know what? It's a game one. It was good playoff hockey. It was good Stanley Cup finals hockey. And for the first time in 18 years, I just watched the Oilers play a game in the Stanley Cup Finals. I'm pretty jacked up about that, to be quite honest with you. You have a great night. I'm going to go party in Crossfield right now. Everybody, let's get ready for Monday. I'm up on Odier.